Hello there, Gemini. Welcome to your March 2023 love reading. I'm going to do this one a little differently. I'm going to timestamp them. I'm going to do past energies, and current energy, and new love. So you can watch the ones you want. You could just watch one. You could watch all of them. It's up to you. Okay. So let's see what's going on with the past love. What's going on with the past? We have here... The moon, the tower, and the magician. So right now, this past person is going through something here. Wow. There might be something coming to light. Something being exposed with this person. Okay, so the moon is Pisces, the tower is Aries Scorpio, and the magician for me is Aquarius and Aries, Bilapis, C, Virgo, and Gemini, so whatever works for you. Doesn't matter, this is this person is using the magician at this time, it's their energy, is what we're tapping into their energy, whoever they are. So, um, the tower, some kind of surprise, this person's going through something here. It almost feels like something's getting exposed for this person. Something that they're doing. Okay, so we have here the Six of Pentacles. The person might be trying to balance things out, or maybe they're they're giving to two people at this time. Let's see. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm tapping, asking. I'm not getting any information here. So let's see. Why is the moon? Of course, it is hidden. We do have something hidden. And then I'll ask my guys, the angels, my guys in my head for more, and they'll, they'll, they won't tell me. <laughs> okay, why is the moon here? Okay, Seven of Cups, there's options. This person currently is probably given to two people. And this might this might come out that they were they manifest a couple different people. I think this is getting exposed. Whoever this past person is. Okay, now the tower. Why is the tower here? That's changed, that's surprise. They have options. Yeah, and so now whatever's happening here, they're feeling lost. They lost something here. They they a lot of regret, a lot of remorse what came out, what was exposed. Now, what about this magician energy? Why is a magician here? See, they were trying to hang on to something. They manifested this, though. They manifest this coming in. This is really um, bizarre. It feels like they manifested this, but then once it came in and then something came to light, wasn't too happy about it, but now they're trying to balance things out, trying to bring things into balance. Okay, so now let's see. That's what's currently going on with them. Let's see what are their thoughts about you. Knight of Cups, they're thinking of coming towards you. Queen of Swords, they know that you're not going to be too welcoming to them, but they're trying to come in as your counterpart, your King of Swords. They're coming in with a cup of love, but they're trying to say they are, you are meant to be together. King and queen of swords. That's their thoughts here. Lovers, they think you're meant to be together. Gemini energy, your card too. Okay, let me put a charm on this knight of cups. They're coming and offering their love. They have a lot of memories with you. Let's see knight of cups. Let me just put these out right away. Queen of swords, king of swords. Charm. For the queen. Uh, very loyal, faithful. They see you as this person that always was there for them. But they did you wrong or they did something wrong here. Now they're coming in wanting to speak the truth. Because they know that you won't accept anything less than the truth. And we have, and they want to change things with you. Butterfly. Okay, now let's see. Why is... Why is the Knight of Cups here for their thoughts about you? Yes, yeah, see, they want to speak the truth. They want to cut out, they want to bring clarity to this connection. They want to cut out whatever does not belong, and, they, and they're thinking of you. Now, oh, look at that. Came flying out for the Queen of Swords. Oh, the Queen of Swords. You are in your power here. They know this is not going to be easy. You're not going to budge. They better come in correctly, and they know. <laughs> that came flying out. I'm the Queen of Swords. Look, you're a unicorn. You're one of a kind. You're different, and they know it. Okay. I'll put another Queen of Swords, just so I know i got to put two words here, two um, things for words. Okay, what about this King of Swords? This is the energy they're trying to 
convince you they are because they know that you won't accept anything less. So let's see. Huh. This is the Four of Swords. They're trying to heal this. That's what they want to do. They want to be able to talk to you, have a conversation, and to heal this connection. Okay, we do have here the Eight of Wands. They definitely want communication. That's what they're looking for. Okay. To get things moving. Now, what are their feelings towards you? What are their feelings towards you? Eight of Cups. They want to walk away to something. Go towards you. They want commitment. This person is serious. They want commitment. They're waiting for the right timing. Taurus energy, the hangman's Pisces energy. They're um, seeing things in a new perspective. I think they're seeing you in a different light. And Five of Cups. And they do have a lot of regret, a lot of remorse for whatever they did here to break you guys up. Okay, what about this Eight of Cups? Why is the Eight of Cups here? We have here... This is the Six of Pentacles. They want to balance things out with you. They're feeling if they come in and try to... Maybe they didn't put in as much work as you did or didn't contribute somehow the same. And so they're willing to tell you they want to do this now. And what about the Hierophant? Yeah, there was some kind of conflict, some kind of gossip. Something happened here. Could have been other people that got involved in this connection and broke the commitment up or tried to stop you from being in commitment. What about the hangman? Maybe they're seeing that now and they didn't see it before. Um, yeah, they see you as... They feel like you make them happy. That you are their son. Leo energy. The high priest, they also see you as being very intuitive. Hmm, okay. So now, what action might they take towards you? Four of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. They're hanging on to this belief that you guys should be together. They want a commitment with you. And they want to express that to you. They don't want to be out in the cold anymore. They're going to come in with a lot of passion, a lot of desire. They're going to, they're going to charm you. They, they want to wine and dine you. Um, they're waiting for the right time to make this approach them. Let's get something for the Knight of Wands. We have here. Yeah, they're going to tell you that they changed and they're going to be very protective over this relationship. Hmm. I don't know if you're going to believe them, though. Okay. Why is the Four of Wands here? Why is the Four of Wands here? The Hermit. I think this person did do a lot of soul searching, though. They, I think they kept to themselves for a while after things exploded on them and, and whatever they went through. I think, um, you know, that this put them in a whole different light. I think they see things differently. They want to heal the situation. They learned a lot. What about the Five of Pentacles? They see this as... This, yeah, this is Six of Cups. They, they see that you guys have a deep connection here. That may be a past life connection. They feel like this is deeper than they thought it was. They're having a whole different um, look on things. And a lot of memories. You might have a past life with this person. They, they feel like they can't shake you. What about this Knight of Wands? Yeah, they want a victory here. They're willing to do whatever it takes. They're going to go on this mountain and get hit by lightning. They're, they're, they're trying to express something. They want to show you this. King of Wands. <coughs> they're coming in with a lot of passion and desire. They desire you. They want to be with you. <coughs> I'm getting t tickled here. It feels like they want to talk to you. Now I'm getting like a... You know when you have like a burning in your throat or something? This person's anxious to talk to you, but they're a little nervous about it. And they might get broken up about trying to talk to you. They feel divinely guided. They have an angel here. They feel like they have an angel on their shoulder guiding them to come towards you. King of Wands, a lot of passion, a lot of desire. Very good looking person too. 
they want to charm you, I think, with their looks and their desire and, the, and their, um, yeah, they're going to try to persuade you with their charm is what it feels like here. Okay, let's see what the word is. What's the word? Let's start with this Knight of Cups. We have Future, Instigate, Reveal. So but someone's going to instigate that they want to reveal that they want a future with you. Okay, they're going to instigate to it. Um, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Queen of Swords, the first one. We have Admitted ooh, a Tower. Shock, shock Change Tower. Admitted something about family. They might come to you and admit something about the family, or maybe you do. Airy Scorpio energy with the tower, but something is going to come out about the family. Maybe the family in, interrupted this connection or broke you guys up. What about the Queen of Swords? We have here karma, serious, forget. So someone is serious. They probably want you to forget something. They they might be experiencing their karma. However, this works for you guys. And take it if it resonates. Leave it if it doesn't. What about this King of Swords? This person coming through. What about the King of Swords? We have separate talk together. They want to try to get you. To separate you from other people so that you could talk together. You might be always around people. Or they want to talk to you since you've been separated. Whatever, you know, move this to make it make sense to you. What about this king? Oh, I'm uh, sorry, this knight of wands. We have a tower again. Wow. Eventually, very soon. Okay, so this person eventually is very soon is going to surprise you. They're going to shock you when they come in. Whatever they say, whatever is happening, they, they, they plan on surprising you somehow. Uh, and what about this King of Wands? Sincere, apart, finish. Okay, they're going to be very sincere. They want to say they're finished being apart from you. They want to be with you. They're going to try really hard to see how they can make you guys come back together. Okay, let's see what signs we have. I'm just doing the signs for these readings. So um, I'm just going to do three and what's on the bottom. So let's see what signs you can be dealing with. What are the signs for Gemini? I think I'll put them over here this time. Scorpio. Leo. Cancer and Aquarius. Okay, this could be placement, your chart, placement, their chart. So here we have um, Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, and Aquarius. Okay, guys. So those are, this is the reading for your past person. Now, next we'll go on to what your current person, if you're in a relationship, who that would be. Okay, Gemini, this is your current situation. If you're with someone, you want to know about what's going on with your, in your relationship that you're current with. So let's see what's happening. What's currently going on with this person that you're with? What's happening with them? We have Knight of Pentacles. And we have Ten of Cups. And Justice. Well, they might be contemplating on doing something here. They seem like they're very happy with you. They have the Ten of Cups. And they might feel like, you know, this is a nice, fair connection here. They might be wanting to say something to you, though. With Knight of Pentacles. They're taking their time, though. Um, we have a turtle, sea turtle. I feel like sea turtles, I think they've been around forever. Maybe this person feels like a past life connection, or maybe this they feel like this connection can um, stand the test of time. They feel very stable, very secure in this connection. So far, that's what we're getting here. Ten of Cups, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. And they, they, they um, want to work on this, or there's something about working on this. Okay. Let's see. Why do we have this Knight of Pentacles here? Or maybe you work with them. We have here, ooh. They might want to talk to you about a third party interference in this connection. Is there someone trying to get, or something coming in between you guys? Now this could be other people. This card is really horrendous. I mean, this is one of the worst three of swords I ever seen. This is like really brutal. Okay, so either there's other people interfering in your connection or 
there's um, maybe someone's always working. Cause we do have the work card. Maybe they feel like maybe someone's working too much. It's them or you. They might want to discuss that with you. Or there's something outside the connection that might be causing a little interference at this time. But they are very happy with you. What about the Ten of Cups? Yeah, they have a lot of love for you. You make them so happy that their cup is overflowing with love. Ace of Cups. Now what about the Justice? Libra Energy. Wheel of Fortune. Divine Destiny. Yet yeah, they feel like you guys are meant to be together. That this is a very um, stable balance connection there's just something interfering at this time that they want to discuss with you okay we do have the knight of wands so this person could be the knight of wands or maybe someone that has an interest in you and they're not comfortable with that aries leo sagittarius okay let's see what about what are their thoughts about you what are their thoughts about you page of swords they're they're watching you Seven of Pentacles. They're taking another look at something. They're not, I don't know. They're not sure if you maybe you are as, as um, interested as they are. So they're keeping tabs on you. I don't, I don't really feel like it's a creepy thing. I think they're just watching you, like just paying attention. Watching your mannerisms or how you act or, or how you, you know, say things to them or something. I don't feel like they're actually like spying on you or looking through your phone or, or on your computer or following you around. I feel like more they're just watching your facial expressions when they say something or trying to get a clue to how you really feel. Because I don't think you open up enough to this person. They don't feel like you, you let them know how you really feel. So they're really looking at things. They're taking a closer look at things. Um, we have here the four wands. This person wants commitment. Maybe they're ready to propose, but they're they don't want to unless they feel like you might feel the same way. Because they do want commitment. Okay, let's see. Page of Swords. They also want maybe want to learn something new to to get you more interested in them. They might be taking on a new hobby or, or some something learning something new to please you. This is like wisdom, uh, being wise person is not a dummy okay let's see why is the page of swords here we have you see they don't want to lose you they're hanging on tight they don't want to take the chance of losing you somehow what about the seven of pentacles the chariot they would like things to move along quicker than they are I think things are not as hard as standstill or they're not moving as quick as they like to cancer energy. And the Four of Cups. The Page of Wands. They want to talk to you. They want, they want to express themselves. They want to know how you feel. And they want, want to open up about that. Oh, yeah. They have a lot of love for you. And we also have a feather. Here's a sign with the feather. May they see signs or or they want. They, I think almost feel like they want you to see signs. They might be getting signs from heaven, signs from the angel. The feathers, to me, is always some kind of sign, some kind of um, confirmation. I think they want that from you. They want to feel more comfortable and know that you, you feel the way they do. Okay, so now we have, look at this, the three of cups. They want to celebrate with you. I think they put this next to four wands. I almost like, I feel wedding. They would love to have a wedding. Okay, so now let's see. What are their feelings towards you? What are their feelings towards you? Four of Wands. See, it came back up. They want commitment. Ten of Pentacles. They want commitment. <laughs> and the Three of Swords. They're afraid it can hurt. They're afraid you're going to hurt them. Or they're afraid that there's a third party interfering here. The Wheel. They feel like you're destined to be together. Divine timing. Destiny. Wow. Okay. Oh, it's a Four of Wands here. The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to put the work in. They want to do whatever it takes. What about this Ten of Pentacles? Ooh, yeah, you are their soulmate. You are the one they want. Two of Cups. There's no other for them. What about this Three of Swords, though? They don't know what to do. They don't know how to approach it. They don't know what to say. They want to discuss this, and they're not sure how to do it. They're at a standstill here. They're confused. And here we have the Ten of Pentacles again. 
this person sees you as the one, the commitment. They see, you know, you, you're everything to them. Okay, so now what action are they going to take? What action they plan on taking? Three of Pentacles. They want to be a team. They want to bring this back. They want to bring this up somehow. Six of Swords. They might want to take a vacation with you. Maybe go away. Ooh, they might surprise you. They're going to do something here that's going to surprise you. This is um, trying to... Maybe they want you to make a decision about being together. Um, six of Swords. They want to take you away from anything that is rough for you. Anything that is... You know, Six of Swords always moving out of rough times into something better. And they want to do that for you. If there's something bothering you, they want to help you. Maybe you're not opening up about something. They know something's bothering you. That could be a third party too. There might be something on your mind that you're not telling them. And that's putting a wedge between you two. Let's see about this Three of Pentacles. The Empress. They see you as the Empress. They put you on a pedestal. They want you as their their um their wife their husband you know you're everything here this is one of the most abundant cards in the deck they feel very abundant with you and here we have the three of pentacles they want to work on this they want to tell you they want to be a team or oh, sorry this two pentacles those three well, okay two but they need to they want to balance things out with you but they do want to be a team what about the six of swords King of Pentacles. They're going to protect you here no matter what. And we have the King of Wands. This person has a lot of passion, a lot of desire for you. They want to show you that they're stable, they're reliable, and that they're also very passionate. They want to just prove this to you, that they are the King of Pentacles. They are the King of Wands. They're everything that you could desire. They're going to show you this passion, this this fire, this creativity, this um, also this stable, how stable they are. Let's get something for the King of Pentacles. We have got two. We have a plane. So may they want to fly you somewhere, or may they want to take a trip, or maybe they're at a distance, they want to come closer to you, they, they want to feel your vibration, or may they are feeling your vibration. Let's see, King of Pentacles. Oh, that's a queen. Alrighty. Here's a king. Okay, now we need the King of Wands. Let me do that right away. And the charm for the King of Wands. But they're planning on some kind of surprise. And we have, yeah, they want to have communication, the bird. They want to talk to you. Expect something unexpected because we do have the tower here. They're planning on surprising you. Okay, so now let's see. Why is... <clears throat> oh, yeah, now we have the queen and king of pentacles. So you're a match as far as stability, financial. Looks like you guys are a match. Let's see, we have here money, drama, past life okay so maybe that's what has coming in between you maybe there's some kind of drama of a past life something to do with money if there's money issues that could be that you're not even going to be aware of that of course let me get something on the money one <clears throat> okay we have something about the house money about the house drama about the house if that makes sense to you take if it resonate leave if it doesn't there might be some kind of drama about the house okay what about the page of swords we have a part caring finish <coughs> okay something about being a part but something about being finished maybe someone feels like you don't care anymore Only take it resonates. What about this um page of swords? A page of wands, I'm sorry. We have expect obsessed. This person is obsessed over you. They really want that you in their life. They really want this. <clears throat> what about this King of Pentacles? Change. Excited. Realize. Okay, maybe they realize they, they're, they're excited. They want to change this or to work on this somehow. Maybe they just realize it. <clears throat> what about this King of Wands? We have here money, committed, sincere. Or maybe someone's committed, they're really sincere about making money or committed to money. Let's see. Let's get a clarifier for the money. We have here. Oh. 
someone lost money. Look at that. They have the bag of money and it's, it's like ripped and all the money's coming out. So someone is committed something about lost money. Maybe they're trying to make up the money they lost somehow. Okay, now let's see what signs we, we have here. So this could be placed in your chart, placed in their chart. And I'm going to do three and then the one on the bottom makes four. So let's see what signs we can be dealing with placements here. We have Sagittarius, Cancer, Libra, and Libra. Okay, so there you go. All right, guys, so that's your current person. If you are with someone right now, that will be the energy with this current person. So next we're going to go on to some new love. So we'll see what's happening with a new love. Okay, here's your new love. Someone new coming into your life. If you want someone new, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's currently going on with this person. Ooh, we have the Five of Pentacles. They might be sort of left out in the cold, feeling lost here for some reason because of an ending that happened in their life. Seven of Swords, they're going through it. Whatever this person is happening right now in their life, they're really suffering through something here, some kind of ending where they were left out in the cold. Someone betrayed them. So right now this person is going through something. Ooh, it was a tower. They did not expect this. A sudden change. Something happened in this person's life. Wow. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the Five of Pentacles for this person? Why do we have the Five of Pentacles? King of Pentacles. Okay. This person could have lost out on some money or a job or a business. Actually being very financially stable here at the King of Pentacles. Or the King of Pentacles could have did something to them. We have here... Oh, but they are going to get good news. We have Pegasus here. So something about well, something that happened to them, there is going to be good news coming in for this person. Okay, so that's good. I had to hear that. The king. King of Pentacles. Okay, so now why do we have the Ten of Swords here? What is this ending? Why do we have the Ten of Swords? King of Swords. Ooh. So maybe either... Okay, now they could, no, oh, okay, they could be either one here. Someone, maybe a king of swords ended something with this person. Now they're getting good news. This person, maybe, you know, they have the sword up here. So they could cut them out. They could cut them out of a business deal, cut them out of a relationship. Could be anything. Let's get a charm of this king of swords. We have here a rabbit. This happened very quick. Whatever happened here was very fast. Okay, now why is the seven of swords here? Yeah, they definitely lost out on something. They have a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. Whatever this is, someone did, did them wrong, and they feel really bad about it. The hermit, now they, they're sort of like doing their own thing. They might have you know, stuck them in their shell now. They probably withdrew and went into their cave. So that's currently what's happening. Whatever happened with this person, they went through some kind of major change, major change, major shock. Um, I'm getting like all nervous here. It's like, oh, I did not expect this. What is this? Why did this happen? I didn't see it coming. So it's giving them up a chance to go in, go deep within now. Um, every time the tower comes after that, it comes to star. Aries Scorpio energy, Virgo energy here. Okay, so now let's see. When you meet this person, what are their thoughts going to be about you? When you meet them, how are they going to think about you? What are they going to think? Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, you're a golden opportunity. Six of Cups, they recognize you from the past. It might be a past person, come an, an emperor. They're going to see you as someone that's in control, someone that takes um, control of their life, that... You don't put up on anybody's bull, but there might be a past life connection. Aries energy here, too. But they see you as, um, you have everything together. They're, they're very impressed with you. Okay. And the tower, this is going to shock them. They're going to be surprised when they meet you, how they, their thoughts about you. Okay, so why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Ooh. Yeah, they're going to see you take control. It feels like you have no fear. They're going to see you as fearless, strong. Something they're not used to. What about the Six of Cups?
they might yeah they, i think they've held a stronghold something to you with the past there might be someone from the past coming back but I amy mean, this is a new love so if they are they're totally different i it must be a past life because we're doing new love we're not doing past so i think there's a strong connection here a strong attachment or as soon as they meet you you're going to have hold of their heart there's something about you okay what about the emperor why is the emperor here King of Wands. Ooh. They're going to feel very passionate about you as soon as they meet you. Their thoughts are going to say, wow, who is this person? Who is this Gemini? And we have here the Temperance. And they're going to feel very at peace with you. Very balanced. They're not used to feeling that. They're going to be setting this person's um, heart on fire here. Okay. Could be doing Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. We have here... Oh, a dragon. Protection. Um, wisdom. May they want to protect you. They might see you as very wise or they know that you would be a wise choice maybe. Okay, let's get the king of wands. Okay, now let's see. What are their feelings going to be for you? Those are your, their thoughts about you. What are their feelings going to be? Let's see. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Wow. And Three of Cups, they're going to want to um, spend time with you, have a good time. They're going to see, look at this. You're definitely the one for them. They're going to see you as their wishes, their dreams come true. Their feelings are going to be very strong right away. Okay. Um, oh, the tower again. You're going to shock them. Look at this. can't believe how many times this tower has come back up. Every Scorpio energy is solely going to surprise them how they feel about you. They might surprise you, too, because it might be something, you know, that takes off as soon as you guys meet. If it's a, a past life connection, that's what happens. It's like immediate flames. It's um, passion. It's like electricity. Okay, let's see about this Nine of Cups. They might see you as doing quite well for yourself, maybe not needing them. Very independent, but they want you. What about this Three of Cups? The lovers, yes. They see you as, the, they want they want to team up with you. They see you as their lover. Um, Gemini energy, that's your card. They might also see that maybe you have a choice, but they want you. What about the star? Okay, we have here, this is a two of wands. Yeah, they might feel like you might have a couple choices here. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, they think that you're destined to be together. Divine timing, destiny, that you met at the right time. This person's been through a lot, and all of a sudden they meet you. It's like you, they've been the dark night of soul, and then all of a sudden you, you're the shining light that they see. You're the brightness. Wow. Okay, so let's see what action they're going to take towards you. What is the action they want to take towards you? Queen of Wands. Two of Cups. Nine of Swords. They want to come towards you. They want to, um, here's a King and Queen. You both are very attracted. They're going to be very attracted to you. And, um, they're going to charm you. They're going to, um, cherry. They're going to come in quick, too. They want to sweep you off your feet. They want to romance you. They, this is very deep love connection with Two of Cups. Let me get a, a charm for the Queen of Wands. We have here. Ooh, we have the horse. Yeah, they're going to come in quick. That's like the chariot. They want to come quick before someone else scoops you up. That's what they're going to feel like. They're going to miss out if they don't make a move. They can't wait on this. Okay, and then we have the knight of swords. Get okay, charm on the knight of swords. This person, you know, knight of swords, um, failure is not an option. They have here. Ooh, they have the witches with the cauldron. They're mixing something up. They're thinking. They're figuring out how they can make this work. Okay, so King of Swords. I'm sorry, Knight of Swords. Okay, why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? We have the world. Yeah, they want to give you the world. This is ending of a cycle started brand new. They figure this is a whole new life with you, a whole new chapter. They want to offer you the world. Okay, what about the Two of Cups? The, again, soulmate connection. Page of Swords. They might be watching you, trying to find out more information about you, digging deep. 
they feel like you're divinely guided together. This is the spy guy, spy girl, the page of swords, but I feel like they're trying to get more information on how to approach you. And what about the knight of swords? We have strength. They're trying to get the courage up to come towards you. Leo energy. They want the ten of cups. They want the family. They want the happy home. They want everything with you. They see you as their happiness. Okay, now let's see. What's going on with this king of pentacles? What's the scoop on this king of pentacles? We have immature, married, money. Okay, someone might have in the, in the past married for money. Maybe this person married for the money and then everything fell apart. That's what could be. Maybe they married someone or someone married them for the money and then just took off. Which way this goes. But it's like immature, married, and I think money. Okay. And they, did, they weren't expecting it. Okay. Let's see, we have here. This is a jewelry store. So maybe someone got a lot of jewelry out of someone. What about this um, King of Swords? We have family. Meeting. Talk. Okay, so this could also be something that fell apart in the family. Now take it whichever way it resonates for you. Someone might be a marriage. Someone might be a family. That something happened where there was like a, maybe a family business. And someone kicked someone out of the business. Okay. Now what about this um this king of wands here? <coughs> We have fast, keeps the money, the ex. Okay, something might have happened real fast. Someone might have told someone to keep the money, or maybe the ex just kept the money real quickly. They took it, and they never got to keep doing anything about it. Let's see if someone was divorced, and maybe they already took the money out of the bank before they divorced them. And then, But here's a present. Nope, actually, someone's giving someone a present and saying, just keep it. Maybe this person wants to give you a present of money. But then we have the ex. No, I don't know then. Maybe this person is very generous and they just gave the ex some money and said, just keep it. I don't care. Um, let's see. What about the Queen of Wands? <clears throat> we have here insult, confess, desire. Maybe someone's going to confess that they insulted someone because they desire them. I don't know. <laughs> Page of Swords. We have instigate tick tock phone call okay so someone's going to call you because they feel like they're running out of time to probably instigate maybe in get, getting together okay what about the knight of swords new start important Ooh, here comes out of the blue here's the tower <coughs> i'm sorry very Scorpio energy. Something's going to happen out of the blue. Some, not expecting. It's going to be a new start. And it's very important. Very important to you, whatever this is. This person is going to... They plan to surprise you anyway. So I think that makes sense. They're, they want to come in quick. They want to surprise you. And they might feel like they have to hurry up and move before they lose you. Okay, let's see what signs we have. We're just going to do three. And then whatever's on the bottom, four signs completely. And then I'll end the eight reading there. So let's see what signs you can be dealing with placements in someone's chart. Your chart and someone else's chart. We have Aries. Cancer. Pisces. And Leo. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in their chart. Aries, Cancer, Pisces, and Leo. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that reading. And please let me do if you please let me know if you did like it. Please leave comments. I, I am a, appreciate all your comments and let me know if it resonates or if you like me doing it this way because this is brand new. So I'm I'm a little shaky on it, as you can tell. I'm trying to, it's the first time I just decided to do it this morning. So I said, let's do this. Okay, so I hope you do like it. And um Thank you so much for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.